Hello and welcome back. Uh, here we have a, an example of a curvilinear motion in polar coordinate system where a radar tracking station gives the following raw data to a user at a given point in time and based on the given data we're interested in finding the components of velocity and acceleration in polar coordinate system in r and theta directions and then uh, we want to find the rectangular components of v and a in x and y direction so let's first write the equation for velocity vector in polar coordinates recall that velocity has two components r dot in radial direction plus r theta dot in transverse direction recall that u sub r is the radial unit vector and u sub theta is the transverse unit vector so plugging the given values i want to write 312 in radial direction so this is u sub r not u sub theta plus r which is 6400 times minus 0 0.039 in transverse direction u sub theta so this is velocity as a vector then i can write the radial component simply as 312 feet per second and the transverse component v sub theta is this product which turns out to be minus 249.6 feet per second so these are the two components of velocity vector then similarly i want to write acceleration as a vector in polar coordinate system recall that the radial component of acceleration has two terms r double dot minus r theta dot squared so this is in radial direction and then the transverse component of acceleration also has in general two terms r theta double dot plus 2r dot theta dot in transverse direction so let's go ahead and plug the data into the equation r double dot is 9.751 minus r which is 6400 times theta dot squared because i'm squaring that negative number it'll be positive so i'll ignore the minus sign 0 0.039 squared so all of this i put it in brackets is the radial component of acceleration plus the transverse component is product of r which is 6400 and theta double dot which is 0 0.003807 so i have this product plus i put this in brackets plus two times r dot which is 312 times theta dot which is minus 0 0.039 so all of this will be in transverse direction what i have in brackets then what i want to do is take a calculator and figure this out what i have inside this bracket represents the radial component i call it a sub r so taking a calculator and doing this numerical calculation i'll end up with 0 0.0166 this is acceleration therefore it must have units of feet per second squared okay so that is what i get for a sub r and then what I have here in this bracket, this is a sub 
data, the transverse component of acceleration. And again, take a calculator, do the numerical calculation, observe this, that the first term is positive here, the second term has a negative, so keep the minus sign in mind when you do your calculation and then end up with 0 0.0288 in feet per second squared. So these are the two components of um, the two components of uh, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> acceleration, a sub r and a sub theta. So that's one component. That is the other. Now, at a given angle of 40 degrees, which is this angle, we have some r. So let's say this is, let's say this distance is 6,400. The angle is 40. Therefore, the u sub r radial unit vector is in this direction perpendicular to it in the direction of increasing theta that is the unit vector which is called the transverse component and then vector r is this vector in radial direction so if i show the components of velocity uh, let's say well i'll draw it on a separate diagram take this point to be the location uh, of the moving object then v sub r is positive therefore it must be in positive radial direction so let this represent v sub r which is 312 and then v sub theta is negative meaning that instead of drawing it in this positive direction I should really oops sorry I should really draw it in negative direction so let, the, let this arrow represent V sub theta whose numerical value is 2 49.6 already took the negative into the consideration by showing it down instead of up so these are the two components of velocity in radial coordinate system in polar coordinate system i should say then if i draw the xy coordinate system on this diagram this horizontal line represents the x-axis and let this vertical line represent y-axis so x y coordinate system now before going after the calculation of these components i want to draw the rectangular components on this diagram observe that this vector v sub r has an x component and a y component as i just drew them and i use a different color to uh, let's see here blue to show the two components of the transverse component of velocity observe that i have this component in x direction and this component which is in negative y direction so the net x component of velocity which i call vx is gonna be well let's show the angles as well this angle is 40 degrees since the velocity in radial direction is perpendicular to v in transverse direction they have to be 90 degrees apart therefore this angle is 50 or I can show 50 here so then having these little triangles I can get Vx as 312 cosine of 40 which is positive for the radial component which has an x component plus 
this blue one to the right is positive so I want to write 249.6 but observe that this blue line in horizontal direction is adjacent still adjacent to 50 so I should multiply by cosine of 50 then um, and then let's do the same thing in y direction in vertical direction VR has a vertical component of 312 sine 40 and the vertical blue vector goes down so I want to write minus 249.6 sine of 50 the next step is simply getting a calculator and doing numerical values to find Vx and Vy so then I have for Vx 399.4 and this is a velocity in uh, let's see US units therefore it has units of foot per second so that is the x component we were after and then if we do the same thing in y direction taking a calculator and doing this numerical calculation we get 9.35 feet per second so these are the two rectangular components of velocity then as far as the two rectangular components for acceleration is concerned I want to go to the next page and draw them before I can write any equation to get the numerical value I recall from the previous page uh, we had let's write them here um, we had a sub r the radial component as 0 0.0166 positive a sub theta was 0 0.0288 these are both in feet per second squared so if I draw them let's first draw the xy coordinate system over here let this be x-axis and then y-axis so this is y this is x then the radial component is along our line whose angle is positive 40 so I draw this to represent a sub r and a sub theta is perpendicular to it again in positive direction so I draw this well they don't seem to be perpendicular so let's redraw them um, let's say this is a sub r and this is a sub theta so I have 0 0.0166 at 40 degrees and because this is 90 this other angle over here must be 50 degrees so then to get the two components again I change color to visually see better this radial component has some x component which is positive and some y component and this transverse component also has a positive y component but a negative x component so the total net x component of acceleration horizontally ax is simply and uh, taking 0 0.0166 times cosine of 40 which is positive however the red x component to the left is negative so i want to write let's see the magnitude of a sub theta is 0 0.0288 so i want to write 0 0.0288 times cosine 
of 50. Then taking a calculator and doing the numerical calculation, I get minus 0 0.0058 in feet per second squared. Then in y direction, I have this component, which is 0 0.0166 sine 40 plus the other vertical component shown in red is also positive 0 0.0288 sine 50. Doing this numerical calculation will yield a value of 0 0.0327 in feet per second squared so these are the two rectangular components of acceleration as requested thanks for watching